Hanover Barge near Port Moresby is typical of new cities. In the past, 50% of native children died before they were 12 months old. But now that Sister Laura White has founded this infant welfare clinic, it's expected that instruction will save many infant lives. Native mothers are encouraged to bring their babies, and under Sister White's guidance, they learn how to safeguard their children. Sister may like it, but the Piccaninny has his own ideas. Native girls are being trained in infant welfare to prepare them for their own marriages and to teach other native women. The most damaging disease is TB, and cod liver oil is part of the treatment. More hygienic feedings and still more instruction will enable Sister White's clinic to bring down infant mortality figures and realize Australia's ambition, which is to bring new health to the New Guinea natives. field for education. There's playtime too. Like any school under Australian direction, it has its cricket team. Dusky Bradmans who can make mighty hits, modestly holding their lap laps as they run. If battles are won on playing fields, then the battle against ignorance and disease is being won in New Guinea in such fine schools as this. A native boy called Tarong Diat says goodbye to his mother in the little village of Ratang, a few miles from Rabao, and sets out on foot through the jungle. Tarong Diat is of a higher educational standard, and so he's been chosen to attend the native medical and hygiene training school at Nonga. He gets a greeting from the superintendent, Mr. Walsh, and after a preliminary interview, he takes his place with 120 classmates
course which takes two years. Back in his native village, he's an important man in charge of a native aid post. Children and adults look to him with respect and confidence. He's known as Dr. Boy now. His first treatment is a gala occasion to be seen by all the village as he gives an intravenous injection. Village life will be healthier and safer now. Ailments will be attended to in their early stages. By training natives in medicine and hygiene, Australia is indeed fulfilling an obligation to the people entrusted to her care.